Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is a part two of the C Sharp and .NET interview video series. So today I am going to take the next 15 questions which we'll be discussing here. And this video is for someone who is preparing for the .NET interviews, who is a beginner or intermediate level professional. So make sure that you watch this video till the end. And also for part one, I'll pin that video in the description. So make sure to check it out. So let's move on to the topic. So today is part two. Okay. So make sure that you watch the first part before watching part two. So we have gone through some of the most common questions which are asked in the interview. So the first question here will be make sure that you prepare virtual and override keyword. So virtual and override keyword. So this is related to method overriding, right? which we have already discussed in part one. So using these keywords, how you can achieve method overriding. So you have to explain like these keywords are used for achieving more method overriding. Okay. Now you can also give some of the code snippets while you are explaining these concepts. Okay. So pro make sure that you provide some code snippet and also do a multi-level inheritance multi-level inheritance inheritance to show the use case or, or the scenario where you will use the virtual or override keyword okay so let's move on to the next slide so next slide will be question number two which will be what is abstraction so you will be asked like what is abstraction so you can explain the abstraction like what what is the purpose of you know using abstraction so its purpose and then you can give a real life example or scenario where you see that abstraction is being used so real life scenario and how does it help right and also make sure that you also provide a code snippet if asked so make sure that you prepare this the interviewer may ask you to write a code snippet right, to implement abstraction so make sure that you prepare this topic very well. This is OOP's concept. So make sure that you have gone through all the you know implementation. Now let's move on to the next slide, which is our third question. So third question for today will be, what is encapsulation? Encapsulation. So these are all OOP's concepts. So what is encapsulation? So you can tell about what it is. Then you can talk about why it's being used. It's very important to highlight this why part, right? If you don't use encapsulation, what is the problem, right? Which problem this encapsulation is solving in the code? And then you can also go write a code snippet. Code snippet. So make sure that you practice this with a code. So you write a code and implement encapsulation when you're preparing for the interview. Now let's move on to the next question, which is our fourth question. So the fourth question can be, what is the difference between a abstract class and a normal class? So, so difference between an abstract class, the so difference between an abstract class and a normal class. Okay. So what is the difference between abstract and normal class? So make sure that you read this well and also talk with the code snippet code snippet okay can we create an instance of abstract class and all those questions you make sure that you prepare can we create instance so these questions will be asked related to this keyword can we create instance of abstract class right so make sure that you prepare this well now let's move on to the next question, which is our fifth question. So fifth question for today will be, what is the difference between a static keyword? So what is a static keyword? And then what is the difference between a static class and a normal class? Static class versus normal class 
सो मेक श्योर दैट यू प्रिपेयर दिस वेल कि स्टैटिक क्लास का क्या यूज़ होता है एंड वट इज़ द डिफरेंस इन द नॉर्मल क्लास और स्टैटिक की वर्ड कैसे कैसे यूज़ कर सकते हो लाइक कैन यू यूज़ इट इन अ क्लास कैन यू यूज़ दिस की वर्ड विद अ मेथड कैन यू यूज़ दिस की वर्ड विद अ प्रॉपर्टी विद अ मेथड और प्रॉपर्टी सो कैन यू मार्क द प्रॉपर्टी स्टैटिक कैन यू मार्क मेथड एज द स्टैटिक और कैन यू मार्क वेरिएबल्स एज स्टैटिक सो वेरिएबल्स सो मेक श्योर दैट यू प्रिपेयर दिस वेल नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द सिक्सथ क्वेश्चन so sixth question sixth question will be what is a read only keyword so you study about read only keyword what is the use of this keyword and where this keyword is mostly used where or in which scenario or in which scenario this keyword is used this keyword is used and why it is used so why it is used okay so let's move on to the next question question number 7 so your question number 7 will be what is const and where keywords so const and where keyword make sure that you prepare this like what is the difference between a constant variable and a variable declared with where keyword so it's like const a equal to 10 okay then where a equal to 10 now what is the difference in both of these variables so make sure that you study well now let's move on to the eighth question so eighth question eighth question will be as we talked about the normal versus normal versus static class okay now you can be asked like can a normal class have st static method so can a normal class ha can have static methods in it static methods and as well as non static methods within a single class so can a normal class have static and non static methods in it so this this can be your next question so make sure that you answer this well and prepare it well now let's move on to the next question it should be question number 9 so question number 9 can be it you will be given like if a class is a static like if a class so question number 9 will be if a class is marked as static so it is marked as static so can the static class have normal methods in it like non static methods in it or it is mandatory for you to write all the you know variables methods and properties which are all static right so can a non static or static so can a static class have non static methods in it or all the methods must be static so this can be your next question so make sure that you prepare this well now let's move on to the next slide which will be question number 10 so question number 10 so question number 10 can be can we can we create an object create an object of static class can we create an object of static class okay so can we create yes or no so make sure that you answer first yes or no and if yes then why yes and if no then why no right and if we can't create an object of static class or if it does not allow you to create an instance of the static class why is it so right so you have to answer like why we can't create an object of static class and that's where you can talk about the real usage of static class real usage of static class since it does not allow you to create an instance 
right? You don't need to create an instance of static class. So how it's helpful in a way, right? So you can talk about that. Now let's move into the next question, which is question number 11. So question number 11, it will be what is a partial class, right? So what is partial class, right? So you talk about first what is partial class and then how the partial class can be implemented in the code. So make sure that you write a code snippet. So when you are practicing these concepts, make sure that you are writing code and practicing it and implementing these things. So write a code snippet to show how you will implement partial class and how does it help. Right? So what is the real use case, real use case. Okay. Now let's go on to the next question, which is question number 12. The question number 12 is what all collections are available in .NET? So collections, so first of all, what is, what are collections in, in .NET? Now, which are the types of collections which are available in .NET? Next question. So like list, dictionary. So you name some four, five or, or how, how, how much you know about the collections, right? List all the collections which are available in the .NET. And then also talk about like why we, when, in which case you are going to use list, in which case you are going to use dictionary, okay? In which case you are going to use hash set, right? In which case you are going to use queue, right? So make sure that you read this topic. This is a broad topic. So you go through and spend some time to read through the collections in .NET. Now let's move on to the next slide, which is question number 13. So question number 13 will be, what are generics? So what are generics? So make sure that you read this like and, and practice this with code implementation. Okay, what is generics? So generics are mostly declared with T, right? So you, 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 you read about this, you know, what is the T parameter in not net, like why we denote mostly with T and this can accept dynamic objects, you know, dynamic variables, variable types. Okay. So make sure that you read about generics and then you also practice a code snippet or code example, how you will use generics code example. Okay. Now let's move on to the next question. So question number 14. So question number 14. So question number 14 is going to be what are delegates? So what are what are delegates? Okay. So what are delegates? So read about delegates and then they are they are basically a pointer to a function, right? So why why do we need to use delegate? Why do we need why do we need to use delegates? So this can be your 15th question. Okay. First, what are delegates? What is the signature? So how they are declared? So basically their declaration. Then why do we need to use them? Right. So why delegates are so important? So make sure that you, you implement when you are studying, make sure that you implement kind of an example where delegates are and where delegates are being used. So make one example or create one example and use delegates in that example so that you will be able to understand the real usage. So I hope that this video will be helpful for you and I will be coming up with the next series wherein third part, fourth part and fifth part. So I'm planning to you know, bring five parts covering all the important questions of .NET. So if you like the content, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a nice time. Bye-bye.